Gentleless VLAs have promised they can do a lot of things out of the box, like fold laundry, make coffee, and even navigate mazes. I want to see if I can use one of the four top Generalist VLAs to unplug a simple blue wire from a server rack. But before we jump into this experiment, let's quickly talk about what is a Generalist VLA. Well, what it stands for is a vision language action model that's been trained on a really large corpus of data. So instead of training on one small thing, like perhaps doing a task inside a warehouse, it's trained on doing all sorts of diverse tasks. And that way you should be able to have it handle a bunch of diverse things within, let's say, a household or a warehouse. And since it's so general, it should be able to see something novel and figure out based off of all the context it has in its brain on what to do. Very much like a large language model, which has been trained on pretty much everything on the internet. So in today's test, we're gonna check out four popular generalist VLAs. We're gonna test out OpenVLA's 7B model, NVIDIA's Groot 1.5 3B model, Physical Intelligence's Pi 0.5 base model. They did just come out with 0.6 yesterday, but that's not out yet to test. And Agibot's Go1 model. These are the four models that we chose, which isn't every model out there, but it does represent the ability of generalist VLAs to do some simple tasks. So we broke this down into four tests, and I'm not gonna tell you what the other three tests are, but we started out with this simple server rack in simulation. And we asked this robot, can you just unplug the blue wires? Now there is a bunch of wires as you can see in the scene, and guess what, not a single model could solve this problem. You can't even see them really attempt to solve the problem. Their arms move around, but they don't really do much. That's when I thought maybe it doesn't know which blue wire to do first, and we just confused it by having way too many wires and two wires that look just like another. So let's move on to test two. In this test, we really simplified that server rack. We got rid of pretty much most of the wires, and we have one blue wire. Can it unplug that one blue wire? And again, you can see the robots miserably failed at this. They don't even get close. So then I started to think maybe the problem isn't the fact that we had too many wires. Maybe it's the fact that it doesn't understand the context of unplugging a wire. So let's simplify this for test number three. Let's go back to that first setup where I have a lot of wires. Let's just see if it can pull a blue wire. Can it even get us little graspers on a blue wire and pull it? So no surprise here, they all failed once again. We have more wires, there's two blue wires. It should be able just to pull one of them. But I do want to point out one thing. If you look at NVIDIA's Groot 1.5 model, you can see that it's really trying to do something there. It's getting its grasper much closer to the wire. And like maybe it's just not seen where those blue wires are in the mix of everything. So it still failed, but at least that shows some promise with the Groot model. And so we're going to move on to the last model. And this one's super simple. I'm going to have one blue wire and can it pull that wire? We're not asking for miracles here. We're just gonna see what happens when we make this as simple as possible. There you go, they all failed once again. But if you look, there's two candidates that almost pulled that wire. You have physical intelligence's model where it does have one grasper that got near it, could have been an accident, but they also have the NVIDIA model which didn't really improve on the last test, but as you can see, it's getting really close and it has a pulling motion, like it's trying to grab that but it doesn't quite get what we needed to grab. So with that, they all failed. So what does that tell you? That tells you one thing, that these generalist models, although have showed a lot of promise in like picking up an apple and putting it in a bowl or doing some really cool things like folding laundry, but it really matters what core information they trained it on. And obviously they did not train it in somewhere like a server rack, which to me is a really important place because we're gonna be putting down like billions of miles of wires in these server racks as we build out these big compute centers. So I thought this would be a good test for something that people actually could use today. So we're not done here. The next test that we're gonna do in the next video, we're gonna do a little bit of post training. What's that? Well, now I have this base model. I'm gonna take specific examples of a robot unplugging these wires and seeing how little we need to give it to the model before it's now able to connect those things together and say, now I know where that cord is and let's unplug it. So if you found this interesting or you think there's a generalist VLA that we should have tested, put it in the comments. I would love, love, love for our team to check this out at Lightwheel because we're gonna figure out how to make these robots unplug these wires.